why I don't make counter offers. Now, I have nothing against him. I do believe that they're a missed opportunity, and I'll explain that in a second. I just haven't ever made one over the last 20 plus years. That doesn't mean I never would, and I never will, but I haven't. And here's why I think they're a missed opportunity. I try to be very mindful and engaged in my teams and how they perform and reward people whenever possible. When I have that ability, whether it's authority or funding or I'm able to negotiate with HR, finance, and everybody else who needs to be involved, I like to reward people based on their performance and their contributions, not when they're asking for it. I have promoted people giving them different titles and different positions, made them in charge of departments and areas, have increased their salaries when they didn't ask for it. They were happy, or at least they looked happy in the role that they were in. They were performing well, but I noticed that they were ready for something bigger. They were ready to grow. And I worked on that with them. I prepared everything beforehand. I did all the legwork, I negotiated. I did my financial assessment and impact analysis and structure and org chart and all of that. And then I approached the individual and said, I would like to promote you from an associate director to a director, right? From a manager to a director. I would like you to run this area instead of that one. I would like you to take on additional responsibilities, which will provide you greater visibility across the organization. And here's why I believe in you. If you wait until someone has an offer in writing that they've signed but didn't send back yet, they're already gone. Think about this. They've been unhappy for a while. They've searched, and in today's world, depending on industry and your quality of, of your networks, it takes months, for some perhaps years, to find that next role that's suitable where you're not settling down. So they've spent months, at the very least, searching, interviewing, phone calls, Zoom, WebEx, in-person, whatever it may be. Negotiated, back and forth. They finally have an offer, and now they're coming to you. At that point, they already checked out. They left. It's too late. In my experience, I've always wished them well. I offered them ways to be a help and value as they depart and move on to their new opportunity and, and uh, new place of growth and advancement. On the other hand, in 20 plus years, I was offered, I was made counter offers three or four times. I stayed once, once where it was noticeable where I stayed for years after. And it wasn't the money, it was the authority and responsibility and change of leadership. I was given an opportunity to lead an entire department, which I haven't had at that place up until that point. With it came title change, more money and so forth, but it was that opportunity to grow into a leadership role that made me stay. The other three, I turned down because I already made up my mind. I was mentally already out of that place. So that, for those reasons, and maybe a few others, but those are the main ones. For those reasons, I don't make counteroffers. Again, I'm not set in stone. I might make some at some point in my life and my career, but I haven't made any over the last 20. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, Leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.